to the Gamer Donnie channel here on YouTube. Gamer Donnie and we're playing some Mega Truck Simulator. Right now we're on our way to go pick up old Ford pickup truck. We're in the Kenworth W900 Highway Killer by John Ruda. Got the Nash car, feather light car holding trailer. We're going to take this thing up to Bakersfield. Apparently in Vegas. Apparently we've got to make a right turn. <laughs> it's uh, 5.30 in the morning. The sun will be coming up here in about 30 minutes or so. Thank you, Anchor. Get in gear. Damn it, driver. Killing me. So it's got the C16 800 horsepower Caterpillar in it. The 18 speed and a 336 gear ratio for the differential. It's 3.36. This truck originally was my heavy haul truck. When I put a different rear end in it, a different transmission. Took out the pusher axle. Dash is still messed up on display anyway. I don't know what the hell's going on there. You gotta wait until he updates the truck. I think. He might have already updated. I just ain't downloaded it. Damn, I just had a wreck right there. That car rear ended another one. Right there. Red one rear into that wild one. We can get a better look at the truck now that it's daytime. GPS is by, uh, the voice is by, uh, Z Mods. It'll be one of those places where it's hell to get into, isn't it? That GPS is too far away. I can't see. can't really see what the hell is going on with it. It doesn't change it. It's a little better. Good on fuel. I just filled up at the terminal back here. A thousand three hundred and something dollars. Ridiculous. And that's forty percent off discount. Keep left 50 yards, turn left, 10-4.
have reached your destination. We've reached our destination. There we go. 1947 pickup, 22,553 pounds. That's a heavy ass truck. Vegas to Bakersfield. It's going to be a trick getting this thing out of here as it is. Cars to the left me. Cars to the right. Stuck in the middle again. Ain't going to work. But they'll wiggle our way out. Unfortunately. Do what you gotta do sometimes, I guess, right? Cut her back this way just a little bit. And go ahead and put her window down. Put that window down. A couple toots. People know we're back in the cup. In between the yellow pole and the light pole there. That's where we're going to try to want to get the trailer. We're going to make sure we're not going to run anything over on that side. Look clear. Straighten her out. Just like that. We'll go straight back until we can get a clear shot at the gate there. Alright, that should do her. We're going to stay far, farthest to the right as possible. I guess right here. I'm just going to wiggle her out like a big old fat nasty pig. Just like that right there. Basically, to get into that place, you got to do the same thing, but in reverse. All right, put a window up. We're ready to roll, buddy, off the Baker Field. 278 miles. About six and a half hours. This load's going to pay us $100,000, I do believe, what the payout is, yeah. Gonna be a pretty good chunk of change hauling these damn car classic cars or you make good money off of it real fast. That's what I got my entire uh, entire fleet is driving uh, using these trailers, yeah, and car haul trailers. Well, all of them but that one, I ain't using that one for some reason, but back to trucking. That's Manager detail, minor details and shit that you probably don't care nothing about. You just gotta be gentle with them. Remember you. Right. After 50 yards, turn right. Got a classic car. If you screw it up, damage turn it. Right. You can't just go back and pick up another one. That's the reason they pay so good. Treat it like it's a gold brick. There goes a little side by side. Down through the middle of Vegas. That'd be something, wouldn't it? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Come on, little man. Burning fuel. 0.8 of a gallon an hour is what this thing burns sitting there idling. The fuel mileage is, I don't know, probably around 
3.5 maybe if we get it 3.3 .3. We'll put the window in there. You can hear this the engine sing. Keep left. After Keep left. 50 yards, turn left. Keep left 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Ooh, we'll build nine inch stacks on there. I'll think a little bit. All right. Using an economy mod that I created, uh, kind of adjusts the the pay per mile of what loads are. Like if you got a high value load, you're gonna get paid a lot more than what you would a regular load. If you got special loads like car hauling, plastic car hauling, special dry bulk, um, you know, like a low boy, all the kind of things are paid accordingly. Get paid a little bit more, let me put it that way. Actually, I had to turn the car hall and try to pay per mile, or, well, it's pay per kilometer. I had to turn that down on the car hall and trailers because it comes and it's ridiculously high. adjustments kick back in at the back like bends so you can like lean back it feels like it's just gonna fucking break off and we'll fall backwards it's a good comfortable chair the only problem is it keeps going down by itself slowly it's got a leak in it or something I don't know what the hell the deal is with it 
not really that old. I kind of like my microphone stand. It likes to droop downwards. Up. Welcome to Cali. California, or speed limit's 55. If you go above that, you're going to get cancer. Some bitch cut me off. You see that? There's another one. Didn't use blinker or anything. Bunch of jackasses on the road. engine it's a c16 800 horsepower by z mods and then transmission you get it in the uh real 13 and 18 speed eating transmission mod you can find that on the steam workshop then also got more differentials mod in toss stall too so I like to have me a good diff graphics mods and his road texture back I don't think I already said this truck's a highway killer W900 by uh, John Ruda I don't know who makes the trailer it's the NASCAR featherlight car hauling trailer Red Rover, Red Rover, I'm bringing this rig on over. air balloon or the blimp I mean nice steering wheel
was going to use the Kenworth W900 by the ETM, but the uh, headlights are super bright on it, so X that out. Don't want to deal with any of that shit. Trucks go 55 miles an hour in California. It's like, it's like that in uh, Ohio, too. Through AD up there, it's only 55 for trucks. Maybe it's safer. A pain in the ass, you ask me, but. It really matters which company trucks only do like 65 anyway. So, I know with Snyder, if you do 55, you get like a $400 bonus at the end of every month, something like that. The trucks will do like 67, but if you do 55, they'll give you a bonus. So. thing about Snyder is you don't have no they'll give you a set route they have where to pick up the load where the load drops off and you you can go whichever way you want to how to get there you're only gonna get paid whatever the you know map mile is whatever you want to call it don't get paid by the actual mile mile you get paid by whatever the map says how far or what program or whatever the hell it is they use. Snyder is actually a really good company to work for. Like if he's going to buy your house, all you got to do is really tell you, driver manager, say, hey, can stop by the house for a little bit? And usually they'll say, yeah. Even as long as it ain't like too far out of the way. That's my dumb ass. Went down there in orientation. Didn't bring a jacket. Didn't bring a long sleeve shirt. I had short, a short sleeve shirt and my regular pants and stuff. Cause it's down there in Texas. Well, it was still nice and warm. Got on a truck and got up there about Pennsylvania, and it was, my ass was freezing. Okay, like, hey, I need to go by the house and pick up some fucking sweatshirts and a jacket or something. It's like, all right. As long as you got from point A to point B in a certain amount of time, they didn't really care what happened. You know?
drive band. I did a little bit of reefer. It's mostly drive band. I did a little flat band too for a while. California driver for you. Cut you off, no blinker, nothing, middle finger out the window. This 40 mile an hour bullshit ain't gonna cut it. I guess speed limit is only 40 in it. to California, that's for damn sure. Actually, go out for three weeks, come home for three days, and I'll be like three weeks, I'll do the East Coast, come home for three days, and then the next three weeks, I'll do the West Coast, and come home for three days, back and forth like that. Instead of waiting, don't get real boring, you know what I mean? It's, it's something different. classified as a mountain driver, a mountain truck driver. That's what I did. Go across the Appalachian Mountains, go across the Rocky Mountains, back and forth. It's 70, 70 degrees sunny at the bottom, you hit the top of the damn mountain, it's 30 degrees That's snowing. Sick. Beautiful. Welcome to Bakersfield. Well, almost. There's a city limit size. Wish I could see. I could zoom in. There we go. Looks like I'm going to be in the other lane. Okay, I can squeeze over there. about driving through big cities. Hour and a half to get through damn Fort Worth, Dallas. All because there's fucking paper cups in the road and nobody wanted to run it over. Stupid bullshit, man, I'm telling you. I ain't lying. Literally, there's paper food traffic was backed up for an hour and a half. We got up there and there's just a paper cup in the fucking road and everybody's dodging it. The 
fucking cup, run the damn thing over, get down the road, shit. Got shit to do. Bunch of damn rubberneckers. left 50 yards turn left turn left too far on that left turn Zero miles left. We're basically there. Alright, but I'll call, call him check in. Well, I don't do that anymore. It's all fucking touch on the dash. Turn. Electronic logs. I'm gonna turn right. Bitch said turn right. I'm better turn right then. trucker where they want it at what? I'm up for a challenge That's gonna be a That didn't work, did it? Now oh, we should be able to get her. Make sure I get that damn trailer over. Whoops, ran into the fucking wall. Straight line back right there. Got her, bud. That ain't too bad. These places are always kind of tricky to get in and out of. I kind of like it. Hell no, I don't want to skip it. I got her made now. I want that 40 extra XP. and gentlemen we have arrived on Bakersfield 279 miles 8 hours 25 minutes 60.7 gallons of fuel burned 100,000 100,266 dollars 602 XP the 14 workhorse woo woo Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. I sure do appreciate it. And don't forget to uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share.
and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.